everybody, we're back. My next guest this evening has been a familiar face on VH1 for the last three years. And recently she became the host of Later, which follows this show every Monday through Thursday. Please welcome Cynthia Garrett. Thank you for coming here. I've been sitting back there in the dressing room watching you. Uh huh. You guys have to, when he is rehearsing, mm -hmm. he's very cute because his hair is all unkempt and then you had on sort of a little hat and kind of a baseball jacket. And I'm naked for the rest of me. <laughs> I didn't see what was going on underneath, but my, my makeup artist and I decided that you were a real hottie. Oh. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. You decided right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's nice of you. I appreciate You're that. Welcome. That's a nice thing to hear. It's very odd being in this seat. Is it, well, is, well, first of all, well, first of all, congratulations are in order. This is nice. You got the, the later show. Thank yeah. you. Are you Thank having you. a good time doing it so far? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I, I, love, I love talking to people and mm -hmm. just interacting with different kinds of people. So the great thing about the show is it's pretty eclectic. Right. Like, we may go from a writer-director to a the sitcom star. Right. You know, and there's kind of room to just sit and talk to different kinds of people. So that's kind of cool. And we're going to try some new stuff. Right. With the show, you had uh, you had Hugh Hefner on, yeah, pretty recently. Yeah. Now, how do you wh how do you go about getting Hugh Hefner to lure him out of his mansion? What do you what do you do? <laughs> a, good, <laughs> a good push Can I tell you rock. something? I've tried that. I've been outside his mansion, going like this. <laughs> Nothing. No, you know something. Honestly, he wanted to see tape, so we sent him tape. Don't ask me what was going on, but he liked the tape. He wanted to see tape of your show. Yes. I thought he just wanted to see random, you well, know. we just sent <laughs> it. <laughs> I didn't say what tape we sent, but no, he wanted to see tape, so we just sent tape. Very nice. Now, your mom, I understand, actually critiques. Uh, she watches later. Does she stay up till 1.30 to watch the show, or how does it work? Because my mom can't, she doesn't even know I have a show. She won't step in. You know it's, she's like, it's too late. What does he do again? I, 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 do you know what she does? It's kind of annoying. My, my mom would have been a horrible stage mother. My mom actually called one of the producers at the show, like after about the first week, and she said, you know, I have to get up early with the kids in the morning, so could you just send me copies of each show every week? Well, that's, well she's watching them. I don't know if she's supposed to be on the NBC mailing list for tapes, but she watches every show. Is she ever critical? Does she ever say... She's my biggest fan and my biggest critic. She'll say things like, that was a stupid question you asked in the second segment. Why did you do that? And I'll... You know, well, Ma, because they wanted me to, or, you know, it, it seemed logical. Or she'll say, your hair looked really dry. Looked dry? Yeah. Hair can she'll look say, dry? That's pretty good. Yeah, she comes, she or she'll say, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have worn those shoes, they didn't look good. You should switch back to, like, another kind of shoe. No, she's incredibly critical. But she's also my biggest support. And usually she's right. Man. Yeah. Well, that's nice right. that you listen to her. My mom starts telling me stuff, I'm like, blah, 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 and I put the phone down, <laughs> go make a sandwich. That's you a know. guy thing, though. Uh, you, um, you're very tall. How tall are you? Oh, God, I'm 5'10 in my wow. five feet. Wow, okay. Yeah. yeah. Were yeah. you, were, now, I, I'm someone, I'm, I'm... You're tall. I'm tall, but I got tall over a two-day period. <laughs> and it meant that I, subsequently I have no coordination, you know, I, because it happens so quickly that I, <laughs> I, I'm like this half the time. I'm just a gangly uh, genetic freak. Now, do you enjoy, uh, I mean, when, is it tough? Because I, I hear it's hard for women. I hear that when, when you're yeah. a tall woman, it's difficult. In high school, it was difficult because I was taller than all the guys that I liked. Mm -hmm. so, so, you know, it's not until you get older, then you start to grow into yourself a little bit more. You know right. what I mean? Then you go, okay, well, I'm stuck with this. I better learn to make it work. But I was really awkward right. when I was growing up. You and, you, and you can't go out, at the time, you couldn't go out with a smaller guy? I mean, you couldn't go out with I a little guy? I did go out with smaller guys. Okay, so you didn't have a thing, because I know some women are like, no, a guy's got to be taller yeah. than me. No, you have no problem with that. You no. can pat him on the head at the end of the date. Ah. <laughs> Run along now. You went to, uh, I was reading about you, you went to Beverly Hills High School. Mm -hmm. and, and Beverly Hills High School, I, I just know it from Beverly Hills 90210. Oh, God. It's where 45-year-olds go to high school. Oh, uh, God. Did, 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 uh, did, did, was your experience that you saw a lot of celebrities? Because I would imagine a lot of celebrities go there when they're kids. You know something? The, te the student parking lot way ruled over the faculty parking lot. Yeah, because there are, there are sons and daughters of directors and producers, and then, then there, there are a lot, of, well, a lot of people who are famous today right. kind of started out at Beverly, and then Gina Gershon and Nick Cage, and 
Oh God, David Schwimmer. And David, you knew David Schwimmer, and uh... I didn't. I didn't know Schwimmer in high school, but I remember him. He was. He was. He was like kind of cute and nerdy. I remember seeing him. He'll be yeah. thrilled with this interview. <laughs> he was a nerd where a jock's like pushing him around, and he was no. like, "Please stop it! I'll be on Friends one day." No, I, I wouldn't go there. <laughs> I'll thrash you. No, nothing like that. Nothing like that. Nothing right? Like you, you just don't. You don't imagine like celebrities like being in high school and being beaten up by jocks and stuff. Well, but you know, didn't something, happen to me. <laughs> but it is kind of. But <laughs> I was a cheerleader. You were a cheerleader? Yeah, I was a cheerleader. Oh. In the eleventh grade. Well. That's kind of goofy. You were a goofy. What do you mean a goofy it was, cheerleader? It was kind of goofy. Oh, it was goofy. I yeah, thought you I were a goofy cheerleader. Like, woo, you no, know, just. Well, do, no, I'm, I'm gonna I, spell words wrong. I, you know. I get on your JLB. Uh, <laughs> well, later, of course, is on after late night every Monday through Thursday, and. Uh, and you've been giving us uh, like great promos and stuff. Thank you. Well, we do what we can. We love you. We're, I've been watching you since you first went on the air. Really? Yep. All right. I have. That's seven years now. Uh, it's a long time. You no. really started at the beginning, and did you watch every night? I watched every night. Every night in the for the first two years, and then it would you know taper off a bit so I could catch a couple of nights. This interview is over. Uh, <laughs> later is on after, of course, late night every Monday through Thursday. Thank you Thank very you. much for coming, though. Thank nice you. to have you. Congratulations you. on the job, Thank Cynthia you. Garrett. Let's we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Stick around. All right, everybody, that is our show for the night. I do want to thank all my guests. Stay tuned for later, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Mm -hmm.